HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Hello and welcome to HCAM News. Tom Nappy at the anchor desk to keep you up to date with what's happening in Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, the select board recognized the recipient of the Young Hero Award. The Hopkinton Fire Department hosted their open house and we have the latest Hiller sports highlights. Plus Matt Clark has our HCAM insider. But first, here are some happenings in town you should know about. Hopkinton School Superintendent Dr. Carol Cavanaugh stopped by the HCAM studios to give an important update regarding the school budget. As you may know, on Tuesday evening, September 24th, the school committee met with the select board in order to have preliminary budget discussions. At that meeting, an initial amount of 5.54% was mentioned for the school budget. Subsequent to that time, we received information from the town manager about how to go about our budget process. One of the things that the town manager and the select board would like for us to do is to be able to build a budget from the ground up. We talk about building a, a zero-based budget, and what we mean by that is that we really think about all of the things that we need, starting with sort of nothing and building um, something that will actually suit the needs of all of the students in all of our schools every day. The second thing that they would like us to do is to try to keep our budget growth to a 2.5% impact on new growth. The final thing that they would like us to do is to develop a budget that sustains our current level of services. Realistically, uh, what they're asking is that we don't include any new programs. Um, the school department has talked about this at length and we really feel like with the grant money that we take in, we are able to build new programs. We're doing that currently. We have STEAM programs, we have career vocational technical education programs, um, and that's just a, a small snippet of the kinds of things that we are building with grant funding. You can find the full update at our website, hcam.tv. The Hopkinton Fire Department was recently rewarded $548,000 from the Federal Emergency Management Agency. The grant will allow Hopkinton to hire four new firefighters the grant is from the FEMA Staffing for Adequate Fire and Emergency Response Program. In honor of Fire Prevention Week, the Select Board recognized Remy Van Dusen, a young recipient of the Young Hero Award. Here's a look. Uh, the recognition. Uh, the Select Board and Fire Department will recognize Remy Van Dusen, a recipient of the Young Hero Award. This award recognizes a child, family, or group of children who respond appropriately in an emergency by demonstrating key fire and life safety behaviors learned from a safe program. Chief Slamming, would you like to take the stand? Chairman Ted thank you very much, Board of Selectmen, Mr. Kamalo, Elaine, thank you very much for having us tonight. Um, if I could have the honor, I'd like to uh, had a little bit of a team effort in this whole thing, so I'd like to position some people up here for the celebration, if that's okay. I'd love to see it. All right, so I'm gonna ask uh, my first responders to work over this way. Uh, same police, fire, first responders, I wanna get you right up to this area if I could. So you know why I'm still lucky to be fire chief? Because we're gonna save lives. That's a good one, huh? Yeah. That's a good one, yeah. <laughs> and I get to celebrate when somebody else does. So Chief of Hopkinton is really nice. You know why else I'm lucky to be fire chief? Because I'm going to watch the smile and pride of your dad's face and your mom's face and your sister when we present you with this Young Hero Award, all right? And the last reason is I like looking at other audience. We've got the fire marshal here, state representative, all your school 
teachers and principals and educators that are here to celebrate. The community is watching on TV, so this is a big event. That's why I like it, all right? So to get started, I want to have our safe coordinator, Tim Healy, just tell us a little bit of a story, and then we'll get into your award, okay? Yeah, so Van Dusen was stung by a bee. Um, he went into his house not feeling well, um, and he collapsed. And he had uh, said, I'm really in trouble. And Remy had the courage and the education from the first responders and the educators to call 911 and guide the first responders to, uh, to his house. Um, anaphylaxis is a very serious um, emergency. As I read the medical report, uh, when they got there, his vital signs were critical. And uh, if it weren't for the courage and the quick action of Remy, uh, things could have been different, but today we're here. It's a big team effort. This is a safe program that teachers and our staff work together. So thanks to the school system for allowing us in. And, uh, and then we can celebrate you because you produce results. I want to bring the fire marshal up next to give you your first award, all right? Thank you, Chief, uh, members of the board. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for the opportunity to be here with you, uh, with uh, all these public safety personnel and the great job that you've done with the uh, partnership with the schools. Tonight, we're really here to celebrate the great work that you do, Remy. And uh, I think it's, it's, it's remarkable um, because you had the presence of mind to react appropriately uh, when you're faced with an emergency. And a lot of people don't have that same presence of mind. Yes. So, in light of that, and what we've been able to do in Massachusetts is celebrate actions like yours with a Young Hero Award. And the chief and the board asked me to come by tonight and to celebrate with you and to provide you with this uh, Young Hero Award uh, presented to you. Uh, it's presented to you in recognition of your ability to react calmly during a medical emergency. You immediately called 911 after your father was stung by a bee and went unconscious. You provided the dispatcher with life-saving information and guided rescuers to your location. The outstanding bravery and quick thinking you exhibited has earned for you the everlasting gratitude of the citizens of Massachusetts. And as the state fire marshal and a member of this team, I'll extend that uh, uh, to be a member of this team, I want to extend our congratulations and a job well done. Congratulations, Remy. Good job. Remy is certainly a young hero. Coming up next, the Hopkinton Fire Department hosted their open house. We have the latest Hiller sports highlights and Matt Clark has our HCAM insider. A whole lot more ahead, stay tuned. HCAM programming is supported by our viewers, thank you, and by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. Welcome back to HCAM News. The Hopkinton Fire Department kicked off Fire Prevention Week with their annual open house this past Sunday. Here's a look. The Hopkinton Fire Department hosted their annual open house this past Sunday. The event informed about fire safety and some of the many tasks of the hardworking men and women 
of the Hopkinton Fire Department. So we have a, a demonstration for kids here about um, when the smoke alarm sounds, when you're home, crawling out of bed, staying low under the smoke, crawling out, and finding that meeting spot um, once you exit the home. We've got a, our, our new ambulance, um, which we're uh, demonstrating all the new features as far as our ALS equipment, our stretcher, um, and uh, other devices that we have made available to us in the ambulance. Good job, you saved them. Uh, we do have some tech rescue team members here which are demonstrating some of their equipment with uh, ropes and um, stokes baskets and such. We're starting our open house here. Uh, why, why do we have an open house today? We like to do public education. This year's theme is uh, knowing your escape plan. And not every hero has a cape. So we want to have you come down here and look at public education and have your own plan and be your hero as a family. Perfect. Let's try to aim for the fire. Try to fire up. Hiller football recently had their first home game and it resulted in something they have been waiting for all season. Here's a look at the highlights. Oh and three, Hillers football played their first home game of the season versus Norwood this past Saturday. First quarter, Norwood struck first. Quarterback Jason Danahy connects with junior Rob Wodkowski in the end zone. The extra point was good, seven to nothing Norwood. The Hillers responded shortly after. Senior quarterback Robbie Bernardin connected with junior Cole Salyards in the red zone. That set up a touchdown pass to Brian Keefe. The extra point was no good, so the score stayed at 7-6. Despite the quick scores by both sides, that would be all the scoring until late in the fourth quarter. The Hillers drove down into Norwood territory, and with under a minute left, this happened. Bernard in the shotgun. What else is new? Saparosius doesn't know where to be. And he hands off, fakes the run pass option. He's out to the left and he's gonna, he's in. He's, he's in. in. He's in. He's in. He's in. Touchdown. The Hillers. Robbie Bernard gets in from the four yard line oh on a run my pass option. Goodness. Takes Four. it up to the left. It took till 42 seconds left in the game, Rick. Touchdown, Bernardin. And the Hillers go ahead 12 to 7. They attempted the two point conversion to make it a seven point lead, but that failed. It wouldn't matter. The Hillers hung on to grab their first win of the season 12 to 7 and improved to 1 and 3 overall. Hillers girls soccer hosted Ashland last week. It was all defense until late in the second half. Along the box. Field trying to get in there. Hewless with the header. Perlov with a shot. Got it, got Rips it. it up and that's in. Ava Perlov, goal Hillers. 
Calm, cool, and collected. Well done. It comes with 15-17 left to go in the first half. What a goal that was. Just over four minutes later, Ava did it again. Butler. Here yep. comes the Here Hillers. Perloff's in on the goal. Oh, nice defense. I thought she was in all alone on goal. But still has still control. Is. There's a shot and another goal. Ava Perloff burning by two defenders. Able to get the shot off and put it in. Her second goal of the game. And it's a 2-0 Hillers lead with 11.01 left. Yeah, we, we were talking about in the first half how her speed down the left flank was going to be in play, and she showed it there. And then less than five minutes after that, Ava Perlov sends a beauty of a pass to Ashley Butler, who sends it to the net, and the Hillers take a 3-0 lead, and that's the score they would win by. Ava Perlov, your player of the game, with two goals and an assist. Hopkinton girls currently stand at five wins, four losses, and three ties on the season after they followed up with a one to nothing loss on the road to Concord Carlisle and a 0-0 tie with Millis. A whole lot of programming is coming up on the HCAM channels. Standing by to tell you all about it is Matt Clark with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of the HCAM Insider. I'm Matt Clark, and I'm here to tell you what's happening this week on HCAM. On Wednesday, October 16th at 6.30 p.m., the Hillers volleyball team takes on the Norwood Mustangs, live on HCAM Ed. And at 7 p.m., Jim Cousins and Mike Tarosian kick off Connections Week with a viewing of the 1925 horror classic The Phantom of the Opera on the first edition of Wednesday Night Live. On Thursday, October 17th at 7 p.m., the Hopkinton School Committee meeting will air live on HCAM Ed. And on Friday, October 18th at 6.30 p.m., the Hillers volleyball team takes on the Millis Mohawks live on HCAM Ed. And also on HCAM Ed, the Varsity Football vs. Norwood, Field Hockey vs. Medway, and Girls Soccer vs. Bellingham games will air. If you want to know more about all of HCAM's shows before they air, then head over to hcam.tv slash newsletters, where you can sign up for our HCAM Insider newsletter. Or if you want to know more about what's happening in Hopkinton, you can sign up for our daily news updates. And don't forget to connect with us during HCAM's Connections Week. That's all for this week's Insider. I'm Matt Clark, and as always, thanks for watching. Back to you, Tom. Thank you, Matt. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget, you can stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Be sure to head over to our website for the latest happenings in our community and check out the Hopkinton Community Calendar to take a look at upcoming events in town. If you have a Hopkinton-related video, photo, or story idea, I want to hear from you. Email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. As always, thanks for watching HCAM News. Take care, and we'll talk to you again soon. Uh, the Select Board and Fire Department will recognize Remy Van Dusen, a recipient of the Young Hero Award. This award recognizes a child, family, or group of children who respond appropriately in an emergency by demonstrating key fire and life safety behaviors learned from a safe program. Chief Slammon, would you like to take the stand? Chairman Ted Stone, thank you very much for uh, the Selectman, Mr. Kamalo. Elaine, thank you very much for having us tonight. Um, if I could have the honor, I'd like to uh, get a little bit of a team effort in this whole thing, so I'd like to position some people up here for the celebration, if that's okay. I'd love to see it. All right, so I'm going to ask uh, my first responders to work over this way. Uh, same police, fire, first responders, I'm going to get you right up to this area if I could. So you know why I'm so lucky to be fire chief? Because we can save lives. That's good one. 
That's a good one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I get to celebrate what somebody else does. So Chief of Hockington is really nice. You know why else I'm lucky to be fire chief? Because I'm going to watch the smile and pride on your dad's face and your mom's face and your sister when we present you with this Young Hero Award, all right? And the last reason is I like looking at other audience. We've got the fire marshal here, a state representative, all your school teachers and principals and educators that are here to celebrate. The community is watching on TV, so this is a big event. That's why I like it, all right? So to get started, I want to have our safe coordinator, Tim Healy, just tell us a little bit of a story, and then we'll get into your award, okay? Yeah, so Van Dusen was stung by a bee. Um, he went into his house not feeling well, um, and he collapsed. And he had uh, said, I'm really in trouble. And Remy had the courage and the education from the first responders and the educators to call 911 and guide the first responders to, uh, to his house. Um, anaphylaxis is a very serious um, emergency. As I read the medical report, uh, when they got there, his vital signs were critical. And uh, if it weren't for the courage and the quick action of Remy, uh, things could have been different, but today, we're here. It's a big team effort. This is a safe program. The teachers and our staff work together. So I'm saying to the school system for allowing us in, and, uh, and then we can celebrate you because you produce results. I want to bring the fire marshal up next to give you your first award, all right? Thank you, Chief, uh, members of the board. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for the opportunity to be here with you, uh, with uh, all these public safety personnel and the great job that you've done with the uh, partnership with the schools. Tonight, we're really here to celebrate the great work that you do, Remy. And uh, I think it's, it's, it's remarkable um, because you have the presence of mind to react appropriately uh, when you're faced with an emergency. And a lot of people don't have that same presence of mind. So, in light of that, and what we've been able to do in Massachusetts is celebrate actions like yours with a Young Hero Award. And the chief and the board asked me to come by tonight and to celebrate with you and to provide you with this uh, Young Hero Award uh, presented to you uh, it's presented to you in recognition of your ability to react calmly during a medical emergency. You immediately called 911 after your father was stung by a bee and went unconscious. You provided the dispatcher with life-saving information and guided rescuers to your location. The outstanding bravery and quick thinking you exhibited has earned for you the everlasting gratitude of the citizens of Massachusetts. And as the state fire marshal and a member of this team, I'll extend that uh, uh, to be a member of this team. I want to extend our congratulations and a job well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job. Right. Now, this week, our theme across the nation <coughs> is not every hero wears a case. Plan your escape, right? And, and what we celebrate in part is the heroes and the heroic efforts of people. Uh, but we also encourage people to take this, this week to make sure that your smoke alarms are working, to make sure that you have an escape path out of your home, just like you do at school, right? Uh, and to put more of the lessons that you've learned from these public safety personnel to work. And while I don't have a cape, there's only 371 other students in Massachusetts that have one of these shirts, a nice. young hero shirt, and this is a gift to you as well. We hope that you wear it with pride because it really commemorates your actions and the recognition that very few people in Massachusetts have received. So it's not a cape, but for your heroics, I want to present to you with this shirt as well. A um, quick thinking, focused, and really just smart young man, and that, that you will be able to do this and act as you did under these types of circumstances is quite remarkable. Mm -hmm. And what I particularly like about it is that I bet all of your friends know what happened, right? 
and I think that you are also a role model. So if anyone else in this community has a situation like that, hopefully not, but if they do, I know they will be looking to you and thinking of your experience and thinking, I can make those quick life-saving decisions too, and that will really make a tremendous difference in this community. So for so many reasons, I'm really just honored to, um, first of all, thank you, and also read you this citation, which comes from the Massachusetts legislature. And it reads, be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to Remy Van Dusen in recognition of your receiving a Young Hero Award for your life-saving actions on behalf of your dad on July 14th, 2019. A day that I am sure is seared into your memory, right? Yes. And it is, um, it says, the entire membership extends its very best wishes and expresses the hope for future good fortune, continued success, and many, many more achievements in your future. I'm quite sure, in fact, I'm, I'm sort of thinking about my job. I guess I better be, I think, you're, I think you may be running for office one day. So, um, so this citation is signed by the Speaker of the House, who's the leader of our, our um, House of Representatives, and Carolyn Dykema as your state representative here in Hawkington. So congratulations to you. Thank you so much. The fact that you had the fire marshal, uh, Ms. Dykema come out, the fire department, the police, what you did, I'm sure you know, is about as cool of a thing that you can do. In a couple of years, when you really can process it and really figure it out, it's gonna be the coolest thing that you could ever do. No last minute football throw in college football is gonna even come close to the fact that your dad, because of your actions, your dad's gonna be able to watch you graduate high school, he's gonna be able to watch you get married, and he's gonna be able to have, hold his grandkids. And what you did is by far the absolute coolest thing. The man who presented you today, about a month ago, did the exact same thing. But you know what, that's what he's paid to do, and that's what he's trained to do. We came up here and talked what a great job he did. He knew what he was doing, and we expect him to do that. We don't expect you to do that. That was the coolest thing that I've ever been able to be part of as a member of the Selectman and now Select Board. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. It's the coolest thing that I've ever been able to do as a Selectman. So thank you very much and congratulations.